Hey everyone, in this video I will be showing you how I made the Rustic Farmhouse Chicken Wire Egg Wreath. I got this wreath idea from Lisa from the Silver Farmhouse on Facebook. I will link her page down in my description box so you can go over and check her out if you like. I think you'll really enjoy her. Also, the rusting technique that I show you in this video I also got from her. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video and let's get started. Okay, so first you're going to need two of these 14 inch wreath frames from the Dollar Tree. You will need two of those. Now, if you want to, you can use the egg shaped wreath forms that are from the Dollar Tree, um, if you can find them in your store. The only thing that um, is sort of a, I don't know, might be a little bit difficult at doing these using the egg frame is I don't know if you guys can tell or not but this egg frame is it's really thin and flat uh, compared to the round ones the ring ones you can see on the ring ones it's a little more I don't know it sticks up a little more um, and then with the egg ones they are fairly flat and also what I have found with the egg ones is that when you go to put them together for the wreath, they do not uh, line up exactly. They are a little bit off. So if I was to line these two lines up right here to go across, you can see where um, this top one is up higher than the bottom one. So they don't really line up all that well. So Honestly, this to me seems like it would be a little aggravating and I just don't think that it's going to make, um, I don't know, I just don't think you're going to get the same sort of look maybe with it or you might have a little bit more difficulty when you go to add the eggs into them just because they are so flat. So it's up to you if you wanted to use the egg shapes, um, you can. Just uh, like I said, it might be a little bit more difficult to get the eggs and your uh, grass in there. But that's totally up to you. You do whatever you want to do. I'm going to be using two of the round uh, rings um, instead of the egg ones just because they are, they do give you more of, um, you know, more space where you can add your eggs and the grass and everything that goes in there. But... So first I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take these two wreath rings outside because I'm going to be giving them a rusty sort of look to them. I want them to look sort of, uh, you know, rustic, vintage, antique, whatever. Um, so to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them out and I'm going to give them each two coats of this. Um, this is the Rust-Oleum Flat Protective Enamel Spray Paint and it is in the color brown. So, um, there's what the cap looks like. So, I will be giving both of them two coats of this paint, letting it dry, and then I will come back and I will show you what else I do to kind of make these look uh, kind of rusty. So, um, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get these painted, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so now my brown paint is on my wreath rings, and I did give it two coats on the front and the back. So next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using some of this Eileen's Tacky Spray. Now, I got this from Walmart. You can use any kind of spray adhesive uh, that you want to use. Sorry about the glare. Um, so I'm just going to use the Eileen's Tacky Spray because honestly, this was the cheapest thing I could find. <laughs> so I'll be using this. I know sometimes Dollar Tree does have adhesive spray. Um, Sometimes they do carry that. So if you're lucky enough to find some of that at your Dollar Tree, um, you can use that also. And then I'm also going to be using just some regular household ground cinnamon. Um, you can find this at Walmart, Dollar Tree, pretty much anywhere that they have um, spices. And then I'm also going to be using some of this. Now this is the Rust-Oleum 2 Times Ultra Coverage. Um, this is the Matte Clear Spray. Um, so you want some sort of a sealing type um, spray. You may be able to use Mod Podge. I'm not 100% sure, but um, I'm just going to be using some of this. So this is just a matte, a clear matte spray. So 
what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this in sections and I'm going to be spraying just a um, a little bit of this tacky glue onto my wreath form and then I'm going to sprinkle on some of the cinnamon on top of that and then once I get that on there of course you will you know dust your cinnamon off and then come back in with the clear spray just to seal that cinnamon on there so that it doesn't go anywhere so I'm going to go ahead check out my can and I'm just going to spray a couple you know, like this little section here and while that is wet I'm going to take my cinnamon and I'm just going to sprinkle the cinnamon on there now this can get very messy so uh, just make sure that you're doing this in a I would say in a well ventilated room also um, unless you want to do this outside but you are you know the fumes can get to you and the cinnamon does make quite a mess so once I get that on there, I'm just going to kind of tap it off a little bit. And so now you can see where the cinnamon was. So it does kind of give it like this, um, I don't know, kind of a rusty kind of uh, look to it. So since I have my cinnamon on there, I am just going to take a little bit of this uh, clear spray. This is just to seal that cinnamon on there and just give that just a little little bit of that on there just to seal that cinnamon on there so and then I'm obviously going to let this dry completely and once it's all set and dry it should look something like this so it's gonna look you know rested so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and finish adding my cinnamon and my clear sealant to this and um, as soon as this is all dry I will come back Okay, so once the cinnamon and everything has dried, we are going to go ahead and move on to assembling our wreath. So you're going to take one of the wreath rings and you're just going to turn it upside down. And what I mean by upside down is if you can see here, this is the front where it kind of bows out. The back side of it, it dips in. So we are going to turn it over to where the back side where it's dipping in is facing up. Next, I'm going to be taking some of this Spanish moss. Now I got this from the Dollar Tree. Um, if you don't want to use this Spanish moss, you could also use some of the, uh, this is reindeer moss. This is also purchased from the Dollar Tree. I just have it out of the package. I put it in a Ziploc, but um, you can also use this if you're going for more of a, you know, if you want more of a green colored kind of moss. But um, for the, I think for a rustic sort of farmhousey kind of look, um, I think the Spanish moss is going to look really good. So I'm going to be using this. So you won't need any hot glue or anything like that right at this moment. Um, so I am just going to be taking out my Spanish moss here. And I am going to just pull it out um, and start laying it down in my wreath. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to be laying this moss down inside these inner, this inner part of the wreath frame. Okay, so I did use pretty much the whole entire bag of that moss. This is about uh, what was left. So uh, one bag should do you just fine. Okay, once our little bed of moss is laid down, next I'm going to be putting in the eggs. Now, it's up to you what eggs you want to use. I picked these up from the Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree does carry uh, these little eggs at this time of year. Um, these were the multicolored ones. They also had some gold ones. Um, but I went ahead and grabbed these just in case I wanted to use them. But I don't think I'm going to be using them in this wreath. Um, instead, I do have some of these. These are just plain white eggs. And I honestly cannot remember where I purchased these from. I either got them from Hobby Lobby, um, Dollar General, Walmart, or the Dollar Tree. I cannot remember where I got these because I purchased these about three years ago. 
Um, so anyway, but you can find just the plain white ones like this, or that I think Hobby Lobby even carries like the uh, paper mache type eggs right now that you can buy. Um, and I think those are like 40% off right now for the spring uh, decor stuff. But um, anyway, you can usually find these kind of eggs this time of year, um, you know, at most of your stores. So anyway, I'm going to be using these. So I'm going to start arranging my eggs inside my wreath frame here. And I'm just going to start placing them down. I don't want them bumping up next to each other. I kind of want them separated out just a little bit. Okay, so now I have my eggs placed pretty much where I want them. Um, I did use 12 eggs, and at this point, if you wanted to, you can hot glue these down to your Spanish moss or to your moss. That's up to you, whatever you want to do. Um, but just remember that we are putting another wreath form over the top of this. So, um, like I said, it's up to you if you want to hot glue these in, but they will be pretty much caged in. Um, so they really won't go anywhere, but just use your personal preference, whatever you want to do. Okay, now I'm going to be taking the other wreath ring that we did, and I'm going to be placing this on top of um, the eggs. Now, the way I'm placing this is where the wreath ring bows out here across the front, and then the back side dips in. Um, I'm going to place this to where the back side, where it's dipping in, goes over the top of my eggs. And I want to get these lined up to where these weld seams right here match the ones on the bottom ring. So just locate the one of the weld seams on the bottom ring. And I see one um, over here. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it. But there is one right here. So I'm just going to try to get those lined up as best as I can. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just line it up as best as you can. And you will have to kind of adjust your eggs in here to make sure, you know, that they are tucked in between the two rings. So um, once I get that kind of lined up, I am going to be taking some of this jute twine that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I just cut it into fairly long strips because I'm just going to be using this to um, secure the... Uh, wreath rings together um, just to hold them in there so that whenever we go to wrap it with our wire our chicken wire um, it, it'll stay together and the eggs won't fall out your moss won't fall out so this is just to kind of hold it together so I'm just going to go in I'm taking the whole entire piece of string I'm going up underneath that bottom wreath ring and I'm just going to come up with my string here and I'm going to tie these together. And as I go along tying these uh, jute strings, I'm going to go ahead and go in and start. I'm just going to clip off the ends of the string because we won't need it. So um, I'm going to go ahead and continue with tying these strings on. Okay, so here is the wreath now that I've got um, all my eggs, my Spanish moss in there, and the jute twine wrapped around it just to kind of hold everything in place. Next, I'm going to be taking some of this um, chicken wire ribbon. Now, I purchased this from Hobby Lobby. Um, it is regular $4.99, but I did get this when it was 50% off. Um, this is the 2.25 inch by 15 feet ribbon. Now, um, I think you can also get this kind of ribbon from uh, Michael's or maybe Joann's. I'm not sure. I think I've even uh, seen this at Walmart before. Um, I don't think the one that I seen at Walmart was the 2.25 inch, though. I think it was a little bit wider. So um, if you get something that's a little wider, you will probably have to cut it down. So if you're using... Uh, you know, real chicken wire from a farm store or whatever, you are going to have to cut it um, down to at least, you know, two inches, two and a half inches wide um, because it just helps it to wrap around your wreath fr frame a little easier. Um, so just keep that in mind. 
But um, so if you wanted to go ahead and start wrapping your wreath with this, um, go ahead and do that. But what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take this outside and I'm going to give it that rusty kind of look also, like how we did the wreath rings where I sprayed the uh, spray painted it brown, added the spray adhesive, the cinnamon, and then the clear uh, coat sealant spray um, on top of that. Just because I want it to kind of match my frame and I do want it to look, you know, rusty and worn out and you know the, the vintage rustic kind of look so um, if you don't want to do that you don't have to you can go ahead and just leave it with the galvanized um, finish that it has on it is totally up to you okay so here is my chicken wire now that I've taken it outside and I've given it the um, sort of rust look um, what I did to do this was I did not take the whole entire roll and unroll it and then paint it that way. I cut these into five different sections and each strip of this ribbon was about, uh, is about three feet um, or 36 inches long. Um, I found that that helped me to, um, you know, paint it and give it this uh, sort of rust color um, by doing it that way. And also, I think that it will help when we go to wrap this around the wreath. Um, so that way you don't have this big old, you know, long spool of this chicken wire um, getting in your way when you're wrapping it. So um, my suggestion is just to go through, if you're going to do this, um, if you're going to use this kind of ribbon, just to cut it into sections. Um, you know, 24 inches, 36 inches, uh, whatever you feel like, but I think it's going to help with um, when we go to wrap this, make it a little bit easier um, when wrapping it. So I'm going to go ahead and get started and we're going to start wrapping this ribbon around the whole entire wreath frame. And I'm just going to start doing this um, one little strip of this ribbon at a time. And I'm going to start by going on the inside of the ribbon and I'm just going to kind of fold my ribbon over. Now be careful because this does have, um, the edges are pretty sharp. So um, I'm going to start kind of, you know, tucking this up underneath the, um, the back side of this wreath frame. And then when I go to wrap this ribbon, I am going to wrap it sort of at a diagonal or like at an angle. Uh, that way I get, you know, pretty full coverage. And also, uh, when I'm doing this, I'm not wrapping super duper tight. Um, you know, you don't want to do it too, too tight. So just uh, once you get it wrapped through here, I'm going to be um, just sort of pulling on it a little bit just to secure it. I don't want it wrapped, uh, you know, too tight, like I said. So um, I'm going to go ahead and I started with this part right here. Now I'm just going to kind of go at um, an angle. And what I'm doing is kind of lining up, if you guys can see this, where the first part of the wire is, I'm going to place the second layer right next to it. Okay, so now I finished this one section and where I'm finishing off, I'm just sort of, you know, bending this up, the wire up over that. Um, and since this wire is pretty pliable, you can uh, sort of bend it down so that it kind of um, hooks onto that uh, other, the bottom layer of your ribbon. So it sort of, you know, curves it over a little bit to secure it. Okay, so I'm going to take some of these, this is just like, um, I don't know, a jeweler's pliers or whatever, but where these, the ends of this ribbon, I'm just going to kind of fold that down over the frame there. So that way it kind of secures that in there and keeps it from, um, you know, poking me or snagging on anything. 
Okay, so now I'm at the very end of my ribbon here. So I do have this little bit left um, hanging over, if you guys can see that. Um, I'm just going to bend this on up over this wreath here. And then where it the ends are, I'm just going to take them and bend them down to where they kind of go into that, um, this bar right here, there's a bar that's going across here of our wreath frame. So I kind of want that wire of that ribbon to tuck down into that and kind of wrap around into that. So that kind of helps to um, secure that. Okay, so now that I have my ribbon all on there, the chicken wire is all on there. Um, I'm just going to go through it and make sure that I don't have any pieces. Um, I'm just kind of filling of the uh, wire where it's attached um, underneath here and on top. I just want to make sure that there's no pieces sticking out. Like right here, I can fill a piece that is kind of sticking out right here. So since that's sticking out, all I'm going to do is take my uh, pliers here and I'm just going to bend that piece of wire. So I'm going to kind of bend that just up out of the way and tuck it up underneath um, that frame there and go through and make sure I don't have any more pieces of the wire sticking out. Okay, so now the wreath is pretty much done the way it is. This is um, with the chicken wire all on there. And at this point, if you want to be done with it, you can uh, just go ahead and hang it up like it is. It's totally up to you. Um, if you don't want, um, if you have any of the moss kind of hanging out on the edge, if you don't like that, you can trim that off. I don't really mind it. So I'm just going to leave mine there. But what I'm going to do is add a bow and a ribbon hanger to this. And the ribbons that I'm using, now I purchased this ribbon right here last year at Walmart. Um, I'm not sure if Walmart is going to be carrying this again or not, but I'm sure Hobby Lobby or Michaels, Joanne, someplace like that probably has something similar. So this I thought was really cute and it did kind of go with the theme of the wreath. So this has like a chicken wire print on it with these chickens and the little ears of corn, which I think is really cute. So I'm going to be using a little bit of that. And then um, I'm also going to be using a little bit of this ribbon. I purchased this from Hobby Lobby. Um, it is regular $3.99. I did get it for the 50% off. It is the two and a half inch wide ribbon. And this ribbon is sort of like that ticking um, pattern, I guess. Um, so I will be using some of this. So what I am going to do is I took a piece of that um, ticking uh, ribbon and I cut it down to 18 inches long so this is going to be the hanger part of um, the wreath and then I went ahead and just made a simple little bow uh, to put on it it's not anything real fancy um, but I did use the um, ticking ribbon and the um, chicken ribbon so I made my tails uh, nine inches long and then the back loops the two back loops back here are six inches long and then these two um, top loops are five inches long and then I just cut a four inch strip of the ribbon folded it the edges in um, in the middle and then wrapped it around and hot glued it on the back so that's just how I did that not anything you know special or fancy but um, I thought it was really cute anyway so I am going to um, start attaching the hanger part of this. Now to make a hanger for this to hang on the wall, I'm going to be using a pipe cleaner. So I will show you how I do this. So first you're going to determine where you want your bow uh, ribbon hanger to go. And um, it, it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to go ahead and put mine right up here and all I'm going to do is if I can get this to where you guys can see it <laughs> turn it sideways here I'm going to um, just kind of place this where where I want it and pull it up and I want the ends up here to meet so the ends of the ribbon I want to meet 
And then what I'm going to do is I am going to kind of just scrunch this up. So just kind of gather it up right there. And then I'm going to take my pipe cleaner. And with this pipe cleaner, I folded it in half uh, just to find the center point of it. And then I'm going to just wrap that pipe cleaner around this top part of this uh, ribbon here. I'm only leaving probably a half of an inch or so up at the top, uh, just enough for me to kind of hang on to. And then I'm just going to twist my pipe cleaner around the back here. I'm going to twist it um, three or four times just to make sure that it is secure and it is going to hold this ribbon together. Now if you wanted to you could go in and hot glue your two pieces of ribbon together um, on the two ends. That's totally up to you. Um, so anyway this pipe cleaner part is going to be the hanger. So this is going to be the part that where you hang it on um, a nail on your wall or on your door um, with a, a command hook or whatever you wanted to use to hang this with. So I'm just going to take these two ends of the pipe cleaner up and I just want to form sort of a a loop to that's what I'm going to be using to hang this with it doesn't have to be real big just a, you know big enough that I can put it over um, a hook or whatever I wanted to put it on so um, I'm just going to go ahead and make that and then I'm just twisting the two legs of the pipe cleaner together and then once I get them you know twisted pretty good I'm going to go in with some wire cutters and I'm just going to cut off the ends of that pipe cleaner there and at this point if you have a little bit of the pipe cleaner hanging out if it's sharp or whatever just go ahead and bend it over um, just to get it out of the way so that it doesn't uh, scratch your wall or your door or you know whatever you wanted to um, wherever you wanted to hang it. So I'm going to use my pliers here just because I can't get a very good grip on that. And I do want to make sure that it is bent over because I don't want it scratching anything. Okay. So there is that. So this is going to be, like I said, the part that you use to hang this um, on your door or your wall or whatever. So now I'm going to be taking my bow. Now... My bow, I was trying to decide if I wanted to place it at the um, bottom of the hanger or at the top, but I think I, I don't know, I think I kind of like it up here at the top. So what I'm going to do is just take some hot glue, I'm going to add some hot glue here on the back um, of this ribbon here, and then just attach my bow to that. So that is how it's going to be, so I'm going to go ahead and grab my hot glue. I'm going to squirt a generous amount on there, going over that pipe cleaner too. Then I'm going to grab my bow. I'm just going to place my bow you know, right in the middle of that glue. So here's how the wreath turned out. I think it's super cute. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. I wanted to thank you all for watching, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye!